Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today's video is not going to be a craft video it is going to be an explanation as to why we didn't have a craft video this week and last week and also as to why my website has been offline the thing is that my website itself not my channel on youtube but my website was launched in 2014 may 2014 so it's been nearly five years and i really thought that it was time for an overhaul and obviously over that time i've learned a lot of stuff about not only the websites but about what I think will be helpful for you guys from what I've sort of feedback I've had so I've really tried to incorporate things to make it a lot easier for you to navigate and find the things that you want to find and do things just a little bit differently and just to make it a bit clearer so I'm really hoping that not only will you find it helpful but that you'll actually find it obviously really nice to look at as well so here it is so as you can see it is similar color theme slightly softer than the um last one in that it's still those sort of aqua duck egg tones but sort of more softer tones this time now as you'll also notice is that this time well you won't notice yet but you will do in a minute is that this time you're going to go straight into the blog page you don't have to go through um, a welcome page then another page and then then get to the web page for the blog so I wanted to make that a lot simpler so you dove straight into where you wanted to be your uh, logo up here will get you to the blog post page and so will crafty chat um, at the top of that page obviously we've got our menu but then underneath it I've got as before a slider which this will show you kind of anything I want to kind of highlight to you so it's always worth checking it out to see what's there it also give you any sort of latest posts or whatever underneath that we've got a very easy way for you to subscribe to the website now basically with this all you're doing is subscribing to an email that will send out automatically every time I post a video uh, post on this website I do not send out any other emails so you won't be getting bombarded with a whole heap of you know marketing emails or anything like that your emails stay completely with me I don't sell them to anybody it is that is literally it so it stays with me and that is all you get and generally I post once a week sometimes at Christmas I might do extras but on the whole it's once a week so that is pretty much all you'll get from that on that side of things as well I have changed so if you've already subscribed to me I you may notice a change in the email that comes out you may have seen it once already because um, this cheeky monkey post went out on the new um, subscription service because I've gone into using MailChimp which is a completely different subscription service um, for me which is going to be a lot better for controlling the emails and how they go out etc so I feel more comfortable with that so that's going to be a lot easier as well so definitely if you haven't subscribed already you should because you will get notified straight into your inbox every time there's a post so that's all got to be good then under here we've got just corresponding things here with the gallery video library and shop I just added those in there just to make it easier for you to find the things that are the main things that you're likely to want so those are there we'll go into those in a minute then we have the blog post so as I said this is on the front page now so it's a, a lot easier to find and what you'll see is the layout I think is a lot better we've got them in kind of this grid format and you've basically got the image so you can kind of see exactly what it is it's going to be about and then all you need to do is click on the image or the uh, text here and you'll go into the post itself now what will happen you'll see um, over time is that the posts themselves might start to look a bit different because the um, way that it's set up now it means that I've got a lot more fun things that I can play with just to make it look better and to make certain things stand out and just generally just instead of just being straight text it, it make it look a bit more interesting so I'm going to be playing with that over time so hopefully you'll notice a difference there as well and then down the side you will see things like um, obviously about me so you can click on that to get information about Lolly Lulu and myself and how it all came about if you don't know already then we've got here all my social media um, YouTube email all of that kind of stuff and I've also got that 
at the top here as well so you can find that in all sorts of places so you can go over then here you've got your search so anything you want to search for then we've got the category posts here so I've completely redone these I've done these as well to match up with YouTube and also to match up with my video gallery so that everything that's in here you'll find in the same playlist name on YouTube and also the same um, video gallery section as well so you'll find the same things in each section so that it makes a lot more sense that took absolutely forever to reorganize because every single one each post each video on YouTube had to be done individually so it took forever so hopefully then you'll see also I have completely redone the categories as well as just made them sort of be consistent across all the different formats but I've actually redone them so hopefully that will make it easier as well so for example here we've got a whole list where there's a whole section of craft companies because often we want to say watch a video for Tim Holtz and we want to search just for that for that type of video so I've done you know all different ones and then we've got as I say all different things like holidays here we'll have Christmas Halloween miscellaneous etc so there's all different things down the here so it's definitely worth having a look at those again if you've um, been on my site before but you've looked at these then as I say because they're completely different you might want to have another look now here what I've got instead of putting a list of dates I've put like a calendar and what you'll see is when there's a post that calendar highlights um, the date into the little pale blue, uh, duck egg blue here. So I'm trying to go to one where there's a bit more. Here we go. So mostly they'll be on the Friday. And so you can see there's three there with it um, highlighted. What I found was when you did a search, for example, and you found a post that was, I don't know, in 2014, it would automatically take that back to the, the month and year. So it would let you see that there might be other posts and things going on in that month and year that you had gone back to. And then down the side here, again, just in case you're, you've are you searched back or whatever, then you might wanna just go straight to the latest post. So I've just put th the latest three posts are down the bottom here. And then, as I said, you've got your little posts here with your pictures um, and your images so you can see what they are. And then as normal, you will have your paginations down the bottom here so you can go right back. Now, at the moment, I haven't got very far back with putting these um, images in because, again, I've got to do each one individually. So um, I've done a few pages back, but I will be continuing to do that as I go along. So gradually that will get more and more of those done. Then at the bottom here, you'll get a list of the latest posts again. You'll get all the social stuff again and then just uh, information for copyright. So that is the front page. So hopefully you can see that that looks a lot clearer, I think, to use. Also, you'll note that as you move down, can you see the menu is here? But as you slide down, the menu then grabs and it will stay at the top of the page however far you go down so that makes it a lot easier for you so you don't have to scroll back up to the top to find the menu to go and do something else it will follow you down the page so I always find it really annoying if you're you know halfway down and then you think actually I'd like to go to the shop you have to scroll all the way to the top to find the shop so I've done it so that it will come down with us so I thought that was a lot better so then on to the next link, just I'm just trying to quickly go through this with you so you can see exactly what's what on here. So the next link is the video gallery. So again, we've got the uh, subscription box. I've now, for example, on, um, sorry, now the thing also to note is that the latest video is the one at the front. So you don't have to go to the back page for the latest video. It's the oldest video is on the is on page three. The newest video is the one that you'll see here. So you're always going to come in and see the latest video. So you don't again have to search for that. I've tried really hard to make everything really simple for you guys to find. And I figured that sometimes you don't want to look at the posts. You just want to go and have a video bin on perhaps a particular category of videos so I thought that that was worth um, you know trying to this was the other one that I was saying that I've matched up to YouTube and the categories on the blog post so you know if you find something on a blog post and you think actually I quite like you know that section it sounds like I might like to look at some videos on you know um, 
decoupage I'll just but I don't I only want the videos then you know that you can come in here and you'll find it easy enough so as with the um, categories on the blog post under craft companies and some of the others like holidays silhouette cricket etc you'll find some subcategories as well and so you've got again all those craft companies as per that same list so you've got a whole heap here and you'll notice that these were probably 99% of these are all new thumbnails that I've done subsequent because we didn't have these before um, so yeah you can just say you want to watch sue wilson videos you just click on that and you're literally as before you'll just get whatever it is you've clicked on in this case all sue wilson videos so that will help you to find those so hopefully that will be a really useful tool for you guys if you want to watch um, certain videos and videos only so the next thing i've got is a similar idea but for photographs and this is your gallery now i wanted with the gallery i was it was something that I struggled with for a while trying to work out how to do it because what I wanted to do with the gallery is as before have all the different categories although this is more um, like your different sort of occasions um, rather than you know uh, types of people um, so for example here we have Christmas and then you'll see that you get all these little thumbnails of pictures now what was happening on my previous gallery and I wasn't very happy with how it was working anyway so again it was never really completed on the previous website but it literally you would click on it and all you would do is see the picture which is fine but it struck me that if I'm looking at a gallery I can kind of get the idea of the picture of the card there but I'm sitting there and I if I'm looking at craft pictures like this and it's somebody like me who you know actually does videos and posts on how to make those cards then I want to look at that picture and think oh yeah how did she do it is there a video I want to go to that video so I took some time to to get it to work but I have finally now done it so that when you click on that image so whichever one it is it will take you to the post so you might think oh but I wanted to see the picture but you still will be able to because the picture's are all on that post so you can then click on that and see the picture in whole if you wanted to but if you actually wanted to see how it's made you've got the video I really wanted to make it work in that way so that we could really always jump to that um, post to show you how that particular product was made that is how I've done it now with this I am still in the process of adding car uh, photos to this because you can imagine it's a case of finding the photos in my sort of behind the scenes gallery where I store all the photos to use on the website here and then make sure that there's a post and that I find that post and I have to put each one on individually then I have to make it into a thumbnail then you have to add the link etc so there's quite a few processes just for one image so it takes quite a long time but I didn't want to hold up the launching of the new site um, just because I hadn't completed the gallery I also just to say there's pagination at the bottom so if there's more than one page then you will have um, the numbers there to click on as well so you can go over to the next page um, so hopefully uh, that will be helpful to you guys and that that I personally have thought that that would work better than just putting on an image um, and that you just clicked on it and made it larger to me that was just what Instagram did and so I figured that well if I was going to do a gallery that all you did was click on the image and looked at it as a bigger image then you may as well go you guys may as well go to my Instagram although that said I am linking some images through Instagram to um, posts and videos but it's still not quite the same as this so hopefully you guys will enjoy having a look at that when that's more complete than it is now so then the next thing that we've got is my shop um, I don't sell a lot of stuff so just to go into the shop first of all it's not actual physical products so when you click on the shop you get into the um, sort of home page for the store 
you've got finished cards at the moment there's nothing in there that will although it shows on my website it's actually via etsy but it will literally show the finished cards here but i literally haven't done that yet um i've got i mean you know you can imagine it's taken quite a lot of time just to get this part done at some point that will come up where there's cards for sale however this part is probably more relevant to you guys as crafters anyway um now this part this silhouette here i haven't entirely sure whether it's going to work i'm still working on whether i can do this but this is all digital downloads so in the miscellaneous this is just a free download that i've done with um classroom pdfs that you can download with this information under the cricket explore we have got a load of cricket downloads basically where i do a project and um you don't want the bother of sort of just signing it when I've already done it, then the downloads are here ready for you guys. I've completely rejigged how this looks, so hopefully that looks a lot better and a lot easier to find things. Um, I've got, as I said, the silhouette section at the moment because it doesn't show up, believe it or not, that little uh, thumbnail there with silhouette unless I put something in it. So I just put the Cricut PDF in there just so you could see. But I'm still working on if there's a way to do the silhouette downloads. So I need to sort of spend a little time thinking about that. But I just wanted you to know that, that that's a possibility. So that's there as a maybe at the moment if I can sort it out fingers crossed so then we've got um out of the shop so that's literally the shop it's as i say just downloads no physical products other than obviously the cards but i'm talking about crafty products to sell so then the message me literally if you want to send me a message or a comment then you can do this will be a private message so it doesn't go up anywhere publicly so also of course you've got which is the it comes to the same place but you've got an email link down here as well on my social boxes so you can use that as well so there's quite a few different ways to to get hold of me um, and then you've got the about me page so that's all there information you can have a little read and then the boring stuff but you know it's there for you guys which I have to have legally as well is the policy page so it's telling you all about uh, my affiliates uh, all about customer data privacy all of that stuff which I have to put down to make sure that you know all of that then the last thing that i've done on here is a links page which again i've completely updated so that that's all links to different companies that i use and that i like so that if you sort of think oh what company is that and hopefully you'll find them here and as i say i will be adding to that as with other things so you'll gradually get this more and more stuff so that is it um as I say, it's taken quite a bit of effort, but I hope that you guys think it's worth it. I think it looks really pretty. I'm really proud of it. And I hope that all these sort of different things that I've added in will make it easier for you guys to navigate the site, to find things that you want to see, whether that be posts or videos. Also that you'll know that if, you know, that a certain category, it's the same, whether it's on YouTube, on my blog post or in my video gallery you know you'll know that it's all sort of consistent so I hope that you like it I really really would love to hear your comments thank you so much for being patient with me while it's been offline and you know you've missed a couple of videos I will be back with a video next week that's crafty so thank you again as I say I really really love to hear what you think of it and I will see you again soon thanks so much for watching bye for now bye